Let's continue our back to class coverage now. We're in Prince George's County at this point uh, as our Jess Arnold is live at Tulip Grove Elementary School in Bowie with the important issues for parents and students. Uh, Jess, first bell in, a, in about two hours. Yeah, that's right, and this is all part of a new standardized bell schedule, so that's a big change for some families this year. PGCPS decided to move to more of a standardized bell schedule because there was a pretty large variety in some of the school's start times throughout the district, and this is supposed to help with transportation issues, which we know we have reported on in the past. So it's going to be three tiers. First tier means those schools start at 730 in the morning. Second tier schools, which includes Tulip Grove Elementary here, start at 830 in the morning and tier three schools start at 930 in the morning and each tier includes elementary, middle and high school. So they were all arranged, you know, based on location, transportation schedules and what works out best for families. Now, in terms of how much of a shift this is for families, the school system says that the majority of schools are only seeing about a 15 minute shift, whether that's earlier or later to their start time. But there are about 8% of schools that are seeing as much as 30 to 45 minute difference in their start start and end times. Now I also want to talk about transportation because again, this bell schedule was mainly to help with those transportation issues that we've been seeing. The district says that they've also adjusted bus assignments and stop locations and they've improved the functionality and reliability of their stop finder app. Now they're also introducing 10 new electric school buses and to improve safety. The district says that they have added two safe passage coordinators who are going to serve as liaisons between the school system the crossing guard unit and community partners like police and the county department of transportation. Now I mentioned at 530 that the school system has upgraded how they support special education learners. Well, this year that means that they are launching the new regional autism center at Point Ridge Elementary School. Originally, the district was going to close this school because of low enrollment, but now they decided to use it as a center that is dedicated to students with autism. Now they've also are introducing a new mass emergency alert system for those who are hearing impaired. Now this superintendent Millard House, he is actually going to be stopping by multiple schools throughout the day here, starting right here at Tulip Grove Elementary in a little under two hours. So 8.20 a.m. to walk to school with students, highlighting some of their pedestrian and transportation safety improvements. County Executive Angela also Brooks is also going to be making some stops at different schools and she starts her day in just under one hour at Cherokee Lane Elementary. Guys. All right, Jess Arnold reporting. Thank you, Jess.